God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So y'all, for today, I just wanted to come in and just give y'all some encouragement. Y'all, it's... Right now, there's so many things going on in the world. And I can personally tell you that to be in a space where you know everybody is going through something, it's almost like there's certain people that have the mindset that that requires no compassion from them. There are other people who think that because everyone is going through, all they can put out is compassion. And for me, I think I land somewhere in the middle. And I feel like we all need to be able to take a moment and really feel understand and sit with where God has us in our lives. I personally think no matter what, we should always lead with compassion. I also think that we should be wise. And I also think that we should be patient with ourselves and we should show ourselves more grace. This is a very interesting message because it's not necessarily geared toward a particular person or a particular thing. The Holy Spirit just had me get on here and send this to somebody because I knew it was going to hit the bullseye for somebody that needed it. But I'm going to say some things to you that maybe you've been waiting for other people to say. So I'll say it to you so that you can hear it. And I hope that it can be a source of healing, a source of peace, and a source of just understanding that sometimes it's not about the person, it's not about the opportunity, it's not about the situation. It's about your propensity to know that no matter what comes at you, God will still take care of you. Y'all, we might be spirit beings, but we in human bodies. And I say that all the time. We still got to work out the human experience and the human experience often sucks. It is not always easy because there's no rule book to life other than we have our Bible, but there's no rule book that gives us straight up Hey, today is this day, 2022. Do this, this, and this. No, all we can do is just lead by the word of God and figure it out from there. But the first person I want to speak to is the person with a broken heart. I know your heart might be broken. And I can throw a scripture at you and say, do not let your heart be troubled. And it can still be true because it is true. It's always going to be true because God never wants you to be troubled when your heart is broken. But God also lets us know that we have to go through th through things and we have to go through trials and we have to have experiences because it's just simply a part of the human condition. But let me tell you something about a broken heart, my friend. When your heart is broken, there's a crack in it and it might be multiple cracks. But you know what's so dope about that? If you have God in your, your heart and God and everything that you've been created to be and Jesus is the light of the world, which is in your heart. Though that light is going to shine through the cracks in your heart. So even though the damage is there and the cracks seem like they don't belong and they shouldn't have been there before. Sometimes you have to understand that it's the cracks that give it character. It's the cracks that give it purpose. It's the cracks that make it beautiful. It's the cracks that make everybody else skip the other ones and come to yours because yours is the one that's unique. Yours is the one that's unlike any other. And what makes it extra dope is that it has a stamp of approval from God and it's still healed and it's still pumping and it's still going. And guess what? When your heart was the way it was before this happened, you knew the light was inside of you, but now other people can see it because those cracks that came through that broken heart have that light coming right through it. And now even more people can be touched by your light and the light that's within you. So that might not be a take you ever thought about, but I want you to sit with that. It may not heal your heart and it may not stop your tears, but I just want you to know that just because your heart is broken, it doesn't mean that you are. The next person that I want to speak to is the person that feels confused. We know that God is not the author of confusion, but again, I'm not going to throw the word at you because we know that that's still true. And we know that you can dig deep and you can connect with the word as you should. 
I just want to say this to you though. Sometimes confusion and most times confusion, if not all, will be based in some type of fear from a negative aspect. Sometimes confusion can come in because we have a fear of actually embracing what's going on or because we don't know, we may have a fear of feeling foolish or looking stupid. But let me tell you something. Sometimes when you don't know what's going on and sometimes when you cannot make it out, that's not necessarily confusion, but it's God covering you and keeping you hidden because he doesn't necessarily want you to know. Maybe he does not want you to know in that space. Because what you have to understand is this. God is already in control of everything that's going on with you and for you and even about you. Okay? So you have to understand that if you mislabel what you're going through as confusion and it is truly God just keeping you in the dark, then you will insert yourself in a space of fear, perplexity, and questions that are unnecessary for you to grapple with. Because God has put you in that place for a reason. And I'll tell you what that looks like. That often looks like something someone broke down to me the other day about being naive. And she basically was saying naivete is not meaning that you're stupid. And it does not mean that you're dumb. It does not mean that you are you are a, a dingbat or you, you're goofy or you're airhead. It doesn't mean any of that. But oftentimes God will allow the person to be naive in a situation because he wants to keep their purity. He wants them to understand that on a greater level, you don't need to know everything. And sometimes when you know everything, it could be the thing that jack you up, jacks you up and throws you off at the end of the day. And that's not really what God wants for you. So even though it might feel like confusion, just in case it's not, run that through the Father and make sure it's not something else masquerading as confusion when it's really God just keeping things quiet and close to the vest for you because he knows what's ahead and he wants to keep you pure. He wants to keep you unscathed and he wants to keep you ready. So when he releases what he has, you can get it with no problem. And perhaps what you're engaging or who you're engaging, they don't deserve it. So sometimes God will make you feel confused or excuse me, not make you feel confused because we know the enemy is the author of that. Let me say that properly. Sometimes God will allow you to sit in a state of wonder, which could feel like confusion if you don't know what the source is. And he may do that because there's a bigger plan. And if you knew everything he was working on, you would not be able to handle it. So I hope once you determine if you are in a place of wonder, Versus a place of confusion that this will bless you and let you know that God is still in control and all will be well. And the last and final thing that I'm led by the spirit to share with someone listening right now is simply this. If you are a person that feels like you have some of the things you want, you might have the career, you might have the money, but you want love. You might have love, but you don't have the career. You don't have the money. You might have all of those things, but maybe you want a family. Maybe you have a family, but now you're questioning if what you're supposed to do with your life. Or maybe even you feel like you know you have a greater purpose in life. You might feel like a robot. You might feel like every day you get up and although this is taking this money that you're getting from your job is taking care of your family or your business is flourishing, you still may feel like there's more, there's more, there's more. This final message is for you. Everything you need is already on the inside of you. Oftentimes, the way we land in purpose is by way of a pivot, a prayer, and a posture. Focus on those three things. Ask yourself, do I need to make a pivot in order to walk in the purpose I know God is calling me into? Do I need to sit down and pray? Do I need to let the Father lead me through prayer and tell me what it is I have to do? Because here is the thing, y'all. When you pray... Trust me, right behind your prayers, you're going to have to put some legs to them. So sometimes we pray and we pray and we expect something to fall out of the sky. But oftentimes what falls out of the sky is nothing more than the prayers that you send up. Because when praises go up, blessings come down. So if you're praying and, and if you're praying and those prayers are going up to heaven, and of course they say, you know, when you praise it, I know for me, when I pray, I also praise God too. I don't do one without the other. So let me be clear about that. So that can, in case that might've escaped uh, someone listening, but 
When I tell you, I know praise and prayer go hand in hand. And oftentimes when I'm going through something thick and I'm going through something heavy, it doesn't always feel like that. But understand this when I say this to you. You might feel one or more or all of the things that I just mentioned previously. But here's the thing that you have to understand. As long as you are still breathing, as long as you are still breathing, as long as you know that your creator is in control and you're putting your trust in knowing that, it may not be right now. It may not be tomorrow. It may not even be in two weeks or three weeks or even in a year. But one thing I can guarantee you is this. If you get in sync with the timing and the calling that God has on your life, if you have to bump your head around from this business to that job, to this relationship, to this and that, if you have to go through your own unique path to get there, that's all that really matters. You want to know why? Friend, it's your journey. It's not anybody else's journey. It's not anybody else's journey. Everything that you're going through is centered around what it is that God is putting in you so that you can serve, so that you can operate in excellence, and so that you can be who you know you're supposed to be on the inside. Many people feel like there's a person on the inside of them and they're fighting for that person to get out. And sometimes God just wants you to know, you know, the person on the outside and the person on the inside is one and the same. But perhaps you need to change your perspective of that because maybe you don't get it. What happens is, y'all, when we keep making ourselves have these battles with our inner man, we start to feel inadequate unnecessarily. When at the end of the day, when you bring yourself through all that pain and that sadness and what could possibly lead to depression and other things that are demonic, those things can come and make you think that you don't have what it takes, but you do have what it takes. And even if it may require another connection, if it may require another mindset, you still have what you need to open the door for it to get going and for it to get started. So I want you to know, I say this every day, I'm wired to inspire and I hope you are too. Now, let me tell you what I mean by that. We all have our creator's wiring. And somewhere in your blood, somewhere in your veins, you are wired to inspire into the space specifically the way God designed and called you to. So when I say I hope you are too, I should be saying I know you are too. And I might just change it to that. You just have to tap in and figure that out. Look, you might say, Robin, I hear you, girl, but it's just been so long. Make sure, make sure if you are genuinely and truly believing that God has something coming for you and you're waiting, make sure your mindset about the wait is correct because that can be a game changer too. So for that person feeling like you're inadequate and you have all these other things that you're thinking about and you feel like there is more, there is more. But the more is what you already have inside of you. And you just have to understand that wherever you are today, you are exactly where you should be. And even if it feels like you shouldn't, I can guarantee you, if you are trusting God in this process, you will wake up one day and realize every single thing you experienced it was all worth it, whether it sucked, whether it was great, you, you, don't, you don't get it or you totally get it. You will understand that everything was perfectly curated for your existence, for your life and to give God glory. And that is what it's all about at the end of the day. And here's the bonus. You cannot let people tear you down and rip you up and you take it and you believe it. Just because you are a believer, you are not a doormat. And just because you are a believer and you lead with God and you talk about Christ and you talk about faith, that does not mean that you will not err and it does not mean that you are perfect. Just because you are a believer, it does not mean that you are not going to make mistakes. Just because you try to give your life to the Lord and you get in situations that are unsavory and things that make you look away, things that make you behave away, that does not mean that God will not forgive you. So hear me out. For those of you tripping about other people, human beings not forgiving you, let's elevate real quick. Focus on how God sees you. And I can guarantee you this. Any pedestal, any idolatry, 
and anything that does not belong there, God will nicely knock that thing off because you should never beat yourself up over what another human being thinks about you. I have been the person to be hard on people and I have been the person where people have been hard on me. And you know what I realized at the end of the day? I'm not God. And now that I know better, I'm going to do better. And I want you to do the same. Stop stressing out and worrying about people. And you should be focused on how God sees you. And in turn, you should see them the way God does. Period. I hope this message blessed you guys. I'm wired to inspire. I know you are too.